R. Biden Jr. from Delaware, mm -hmm. ranking member of and, and the number of revenge attacks that we're seeing here in Kosovo. How are you going to address this? If the KLA uh, does not comply with the September 19th uh, commitment, um, my expectation is that support for the United States' continued involvement, either on the civilian side or the military side, will dissipate very, very, very rapidly. The sharp odds with some of the things the administration was doing, but who constantly pressed for it. I see the solution in the context of two very important things happening. One, Mr. Milosevic going. Whether he goes to The Hague or whether he goes to a monastery or whether he goes, wherever the hell he goes, he must be gone as part of the solution uh, to the problem. Secondly, one of the reasons why I'm here in the regions is not just to be in Kosovo. I will be going to Romania, and I'm going to Bosnia, I'm going to Bulgaria, um, I've been in Macedonia, uh, and it seems to me that the future of Kosovo and the prospect of its being a multi-ethnic society depend in large part upon the overall development of the region and whether or not the Balkans come into the 21st century in a way they never participated in the 20th century as an integral part of Europe, as democracies. Uh, but I, I just want to say that uh, let me just stress again what ethnic differences in this region really are. They're just racism. That's just another fancy word for racism. There's no other way around it. And uh, we have to face it, and there's no place for it. And the Serbs of this region have a historic right to live here, too. But the events of the last decade have made that incredibly difficult. So yeah. We have this little coffee right across the hall. Oh, okay, great. Right across the, right across the way. Yeah. Joe.